Hi, I'm Eugene. And I'm Pip. Together, we're at Kriega Dance. And welcome to this tutorial. In this session, we're going to introduce you to the posture of throne and also a transition from throne into high flying whale, which hopefully you've watched and covered in the previous video. Yes, yeah, so if you have a member of a family or a friend to help you as a spotter, um, that's fantastic. But if you don't, just keep it slow, uh, keep it gradual. Yeah, it's fine practicing and learning acro yoga as a duo. In fact, you, you, can, you can really develop really well just with two people. If you were going to a class or a workshop, you would have that third person called a spotter. And that enables you to move at a different pace. It enables you to try things that are new and that feel slightly out of reach safely. So when you're practicing without a spotter, without that third person, it's really important that you kind of exercise good judgment as to are you ready to... to to do whatever it is that you're trying to do. And if either of you isn't, it's really a good idea to say so. And there's nothing wrong. In fact, it's really, it's really valuable and really important, like Pip says, to just take your time. So if, if we're trying something new, we've not done it before, and either one of us says, mm, no, then we just come down and we leave it and we come back to it. And maybe the next day it feels completely better and something has clicked, something has progressed in your body or in your mind and you can do it. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here we are, base in our familiar role on our backs, and I can, as usual, just about reach Pip's toes with my fingertips, so we know that we've stood the right distance apart. I bring the balls of my feet to our hips, my feet are parallel. So I'm just standing tall, I'm just making sure that my feet are hip distance apart, I offer my hands forward. Okay, my hands and fingers are turned out to the side, I bend my knees and straighten my legs. Sound effects always help. Vertical arms, vertical legs. You've done this transition before in a previous video. If not, then please go to that video and go through the tutorial on it. So we're gonna to move to straddle throne. So I squeeze with my right hand. And are you ready for me to take that foot out? Yeah. Okay, I'll take it out. I bring my knee forward, 45 degree angle. I nudge the knee a little bit further out. I wanna see my foot halfway along a hamstring. I wrap the foot in the front, hook with the foot, sit on the leg. Okay, same with this side, my foot halfway along the hamstring. Again, wrap in front, hook with the feet. Okay, so I've got good foot position. My feet are both parallel, they're both level with each other. Um, we've both got straight arms. I bend my legs. Hands to thighs. I straighten my legs. Hands to 